Hey, what is going on, everybody? JB here with another political video, and today we're going to be talking about how China is making it more difficult for people to understand where COVID-19 coronavirus originated in China. And I actually started telling their own citizens that it's not from China; it's from the U.S. It's from uh, places like Italy. It's from food being imported. <laughs> we're just trying to cover themselves, making you know the communist society not look like they started a whole pandemic that's led to the deaths of many, many people. That's what we'll be talking about in this video. But before we get into that, I have to say two quick things. Please consider subscribing to this channel. It would mean a lot to me. I hope you... And please, it really would. I want to get this channel as high as I can. Um, I first it off as a fun little joke thing, but it, it's something that I really care about and enjoy. Just share, subscribe, comment below, all those good things. Also, follow me on Perler. Check it all out. Um, this video is being recorded on... Technically, it is the th New Year's Eve. But, um, it's like midnight, it's 12.23. So basically, it's the 30th, but it's really the 31st. Um, and this video should be coming out in about like a week and a half, I believe. I'm, I'm backlogging videos right now because I'm on a trip right now. And, but yeah, I want to get into the video. Um, let's, let's get into it right now. So right here, um, I got this from Bloomberg. But Bloomberg, uh, for some reason I couldn't view it. So I had to copy it all and put it in here. To Google Docs, so I can actually see it um, and scroll down. For some reason, it was broken, but yeah, let's get into it. So, right here, it's here. See, China is making harder to solve the mystery of how COVID began. Investors may never know how COVID 19 emerged in the country and how to stop it from happening again. In the years since seafood hawkers started appearing in Wuhan hospitals, sickened with a strange and debilitating pneumonia, basically COVID 19, we've learned a lot since then. It killed about 2 million people uh, with whipsawed the global economy. We don't know how it started. Where the pathogen first emerged and how it transmitted to humans is a mystery, but it's become more elusive because of what China's doing now. So, they're taking the whole thing is they want to take place blame for the disease, not on themselves. They want to say, "Hey, it's not us. It's not us." They're basically saying that they they pretty much snuffed it out in those things, which we don't really know what they say is true. But that's what th this is saying. There's a stringent border curbs, <clears throat> lockdown, literally forced you in your house, don't let you out, don't let you speak to anyone about what's going on, you know, China. Mass testing, we don't really know that, if that what do they do if you have, have it sick, you know, we don't really know. And a surveillance network that allows infected people in the context to be tracked via a mobile phone app, you know, basically Big Brother's always watching even more than usual, you know, they probably keep that on their phones after, you know. With the fight over the pandemic source becoming an extension of the broader conflict between the world's two superheroes, U.S. and China, I'm assuming, China is now trying to revise the virus's narrative from the beginning, and nowhere is it more evident than the original epicenter, which is Wuhan. Images of the first responders dwarfed the entrance to the city's bright red exhibition to follow like heroes from Maoist era propaganda posters, the police officer, the doctor, the soldier, the faces obscured by masks. Let's see right here. Let's see. Ch -ch -ch. Inside a jet photo of a nurse's hands, inflamed and peeling, hangs over an army of mannequins in hazmat suits. The hologram of medics stained to a critical coronavirus patient is beamed over a real-life hospital bed. The beeps of a heart monitor creating a sense of drama not lost in the college students shuffling past transfixed. Blah blah blah, they have all these things trying to make woo. So China is already trying to relegate re the pandemic to its, its own version of what happened. The Battle Against COVID-19 Special Exhibition seeks to memorialize everything from mask-making machines, 2,000 bed temporary hospitals, which we know was actually uh, like gyms. It wasn't true. I did a video on it a long time ago. Oh god, that was so long ago. But, as we all see, they're trying to make it so they look good in the way of their own people. So no mention of the, the Huanan uh, seafood market, the source infections, the public uh, uh, uproar of the government's cover-ups. The early days of the epidemic, which, when it hit the extent of human to human transmission and delayed taking action, which led to what we have now, which is why it's called the China virus by Trump. Li Wenliang, the whistleblower doctor whose death of COVID 19 spoke to the biggest backlash Beijing has seen in years, appears in a lineup of other Wuhan physicians failed by the virus, barely noticeable. For many Chinese, that angle has been replaced with a sense of pride that the country best in a crisis has all but defeated the US. Uh, it's because, you know, we don't have a dictator that forces us to stay inside. It doesn't like track us on our phones. Keeping China stronger and on track. At least one uh, consultancy estimate to be on the world's biggest economy five years earlier than previously predicted. 
But the virus firmly contained Wuhan has had no locally transmitted cases, which is hilarious. I just want to point out it's hilarious because, you know, they're like communist, but they they act, they act like capitalistic. Except the little people, they have them all, you know, the people are allowed to be so, uh, capitalist. Only them. Only the government. So there's a growing push to dispel the idea that China was the ultimate source of the virus, which is known as the source COVID to bat virus. A foreign ministry spokesman has been espousing theories that linked the virus to U.S. military and after a spate of cases in Chinese port and cold storage workers, state-backed media were claiming the virus could have entered the country and imported frozen food. They have also seized on research that suggests there were infections in the U.S. and Italy that predate those who We all know this is all BS. <laughs> Sorry about my nose. It's full right now. I don't know why. <clears throat> but basically... They're trying to do these things saying, oh, no, no independent investigations. And when a- Australia asked for one, they gave them trade restrictions. And it's just stalling efforts by the World Health Organization to get top infectious disease exports into Wuhan this year. It's prevented that painstaking epidemiology detective to work from probing cities to the, the city's wastewater. They want to see all these things, so they're not letting them. Basically, they're like, it wasn't us. Woo, we don't know. We don't know. Now, with a WHO team that focuses on tracing the virus's origin, hoping to visit Wuhan in January, the WHO commissioned by the Lancet Medical Journal also on the hunt. The city may not have much to reveal. Give me one second. Sorry, I can't even mute it because the way I have my setup and I just have to blow my nose just to cover yours. <coughs> there we go. Okay. So, life is largely back to normal for Wuhan's 11 million people. I wonder how many it was before. The force to experience lockdowns now shuttering ports of Europe and North America for a second time. Quote, these things were awfully hard to do retrospectively, even if all the evidence is still in place. And quote, said Robert Schooley, an infectious disease physician at the University of California, San Diego, and editor in chief of the journal Clinical Infectious Diseases. <clears throat> Inspiring around south of the exhibition center, the, human, the Hunan Seafood Market is partitioned off by eight foot high metal barricades, replete with pictures of tranquil of rural scenes bolted to the ground. Potted palm trees dot the perimeter of the multi story building since the world's first known cluster of COVID 19. The government cleaner swooped in as, in late 2019 to close, vacate, and sanitize dozens of stalls. It was a key source of produce for local restaurants in central Wuhan. It's also been reported by media, including uh, agents France per se, to have sold a range of wild animals and their meat, from koalas and p- wolf pups to rats and palm civets, the, the cat like animals spent to being the conduit of the source virus between bats and humans. Which led, to, which led to the outbreak in China in 2002, subsequently spread to the other parts of the world. So we know China is an epidemic spot for this stuff. Now, only eyeglass windows lay in the sparsely filled aisles of the Hunan second floor of the Rhenish clientele, carefully vetted by security guards. A recent visit to the Margaret Bloomberg News reporters were warned away by plainclothes officials and later by police. They're not letting them in. Basically, beyond this, the, uh, the constructed museums. Feel the signs of the, the battle exist. A makeshift hospital famously built about two weeks, which we know there was only one of them that is not as good as they have. Two local men said they told the site would be turned into apartments. So they're turning into apartments. Okay. Uh, let's see, boom, boom, boom. China stonewalling scientists suspect that they could be, well be right. A place of virus forced to infect human isn't necessarily where it begins spreading efficiently among people. But we do know it started there. That's what we were saying. No, it, it didn't have a dead off transition. We know that it spread through there. St. Bats links to coronavirus live thousands of miles from Wuhan. Yes, but we just have to bring up the fact that there is a, uh, the, the China's version of the CDC building right next to Wuhan, which has had a large history of leaks. Not saying anything about COVID being manufactured by the Chinese. Nothing about that. Nothing at all. No, YouTube. I'm not having any conspiracy theories at all. But there is a history of, a C- of like, basically the China CDC there making sort of uh, viruses and things like that and having them leaked. You know, going out everywhere, not really that safe. But not, nothing to do with COVID. Nothing at all. Not nothing, nothing, nothing. No, no, no. Not at all. The rest of this is just talking about, from what I can tell, how it jumps from thing to thing. Um, for, since this could load me, I'll have it linked below. If you don't know, uh, all my different articles I use are linked in the description below. But I found this one that did work. I, I thought this one, the other one was more in-depth, though. So I'll link this one also. So this one seemed like a lighter version of, of this one. Yeah. So I will be linking that below. But pl- thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy this. Um, I'm on my trip right now. Sorry about my nose. And I think I just ate peanuts. I'm not allergic to peanuts. I don't think. My tongue feels like it swelled up a little bit. But I'll be okay. 
I think. Yeah, I've had peanuts before. I usually don't eat peanuts. I eat peanut butter. But uh, hopefully I'll be fine. I'll be fine. But again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. And I love you all. Uh, I don't know what's happening with the election. I'm not sure if this is before or after the inauguration day. Uh, but all I gotta say is Orange Man for the win. Uh, I, I'm trying to think of ways to say things that you two won't get mad. Election goes to Orange Man. Uh, Cheeto Puff for the win. Uh, yeah, that, that's the best thing to do. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm very exhausted. My nose sucks. Uh, I love Minecraft. I've been playing that recently. Let me know if you want something like that on the gaming channel. And I'll see you guys next one. Peace, peace. Bye, guys. And stay safe out there.